Hello, happy Saturday from two different parts of the country. I'm currently yeah. in Florida and Shane is back in Bend, Oregon. And you can't see it here, but uh, it is absolutely dumping and it is nine degrees and I am in at home, but it's the best feeling. Uh, I traded you know, snow. What is it over there? It's got to be it's like 80 degrees. When I landed, <laughs> I opened my uh, compact mirror and I recorded it fogging up from the humidity. Oh, how funny. Meanwhile, it feels like negative five in Bend. And right now it is 63 with a high of 76. But yeah, I treated snow for Deli. Sam this week. Oh, well, hey, everybody. We're super excited for this one. Um, I don't know how uh, if, any, if anybody's seen Magic Brief before, but this has become kind of a... Um, hot new tool, uh, especially in the agency space. Uh, my agency uses this, um, and it's it's just been gangbusters trying to, um, you know, utilize this to its full capacity because it's a really powerful tool and something that's so needed. Um, but I, before we get into it, um, Kelly, is there anything you wanted to say before uh, for Magic Brief? Honestly, Magic Brief has been the tool I've been looking for. I was using another tool similar to Magic Brief before this, but I personally like Magic Brief more for a multitude of reasons, and Shane's going to be going over them during this training. Uh, but really, it is an awesome way for you to be a creative strategist for your clients to point to ads that you found inspo in that you want to lead strategy on and recreate or for you as the UGC creator to upsell your clients. I've done this before where I will hit up a client that has maybe not been reaching out to me more regularly than they usually do. And I'll say, hey, I came across this ad and it made me think of you. I think I could recreate this ad, put our spin on it. And I think that it could be a really mm -hmm. strong performer. So pay attention, take notes. This tool yeah. is incredible and um shane when you get a chance if you could also or i can pull it up i'll pull i'll share the link to our man it's in the description brief. oh amazing it's in the description and yep. is that also linking our inspo playlist by chance yeah that it is it's a direct link to our our uh collection do you want to talk a little bit to that just because i know that yeah you kind well of so i just wanted to start this off by saying um you know this like the idea of collecting inspiration for ads is obviously not new, you know, even in the Mad Men era of advertising, like there was still collections of ads, whether they're cutouts from other newspapers. Um, and, you know, over time, we've come to know, know these as a swipe file, uh, more so in the digital era. But a lot of times these were collections on like a Google Drive or they were stored on some proprietary server or, you know, you'd have all these examples and it was kind of a thing, um, you know, in the early advertising days to have uh, a set of examples, uh, you know, that you can reference on your own and nobody else can touch, right? Like this was a, that was a part of, you know, your, uh, th that was an asset um, that your clients could have access to. Um, so that was always a really powerful tool for as long as advertising's existed. Um, and only until now is there really a, um, accessible tool, uh, where you can now collect your own swipe file, which is just a collection of ads. That's all it is. Um, yeah. so if you ever hear that, it's just a synonym. And the way that Shane's describing it, honestly, was giving me like flashbacks to like 2017, 2018, when it's like you get a new client and they send you this Google Drive folder. And it's just like with all these ads and you're just like, I don't know when they were launched. I don't know how old they are. Like these are inspo ads. But what was the ad copy that went with it? Like what where did it copy? run? How long did it run? Exactly. And now it's given to us on a silver platter thank God. And again, there are so many ways that you can utilize this tool. So I really don't want to hold it off any longer, Shane. I'm so excited for you to walk us through this. Yeah. So let me pull up Magic Brief. 
Um, so this is Magic Brief. Um, if you go to the description below, there should be a link um, that brings you to uh, a collection we have called UGC Videos. Um, and just for reference, when you sign up uh, and you get this um, uh, uh, collection, it's a static collection. So I'm working with their team to see if there's a solution where it can stay updated. But um, as we update this, you may have to keep getting access to it. That's just something just for your reference. Uh, but I'll get more into like the specifics of how Magic Brief works. But uh, so as you can see, um, in this example that you have access to, UGC videos is just a collection of ads. It's that's 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 at its simplest. That's what it is. But if you want to be a creative strategist, um, let alone a UGC creator as well, uh, this collection of ads serves as your platform or jumping a launching pad for pitching an idea. Um, so, for instance, I can go through here. And, you know, um, uh, we posted an example going through, um, it was, what's the true classic, uh, a true classic ad. Yeah. Uh, today. Um, but like, I'm trying to think of a good one that I saw recently. Um, uh, let's we try this prep service. <laughs> So I'll just click in. You click the top there um, to go into it. And now you can see, you know, I can obviously play the video, but I can also see the ad copy that it ran with. Uh, I can see details about um, the um, uh, the targeting or where the placements. Oh, details. Yeah. Also, it uh, looks like, does it let you click on the landing page on the left? Yeah, it does. So you can actually go That's directly cool. to the landing page and see where it took them. Uh, and then you can see active status, which was for how long it ran. Um, and then they also have a, um, like a calculated AI score, which essentially is just um, it's like an amalgamation of how long it ran plus certain other factors about like the quality of the ad. Um, I wouldn't trust it completely, but uh, it, it does, you know, it does play a factor in like assessing whether the ad was good. Uh, and honestly, the biggest factor, which I'm sure the ad score also takes into account is the active status. Cause if you see an ad that's been running for like three months, we sure as heck know that it is offering a return on ad spend because no one in their right mind would be running an ad for three months if it wasn't profitable. It's interesting. A lot of these are actually just run. So like this one was three weeks. That's the longest so far out of those. I think I just added those other ones recently. So that makes sense why they haven't um, been running that long. They're probably brand new. Um, so this one's been running for three weeks. Let's uh, let's take a look. Vaginal dryness, low sex drive, yes. energy levels move. Have any of those symptoms affected you at all? It did for a while, especially with the hot flashes. When you're sleeping, you get cold. And then you get hot. What's one tip of advice that you would offer to women who are in their 20s and 30s that haven't gone through menopause just yet? Watch your diet, mm -hmm. work out, drink a lot of water, and take your supplements. When you were growing up, did your mom ever tell you about menopause? Never. I never heard my mom talking about it. Not even yeah. my grandmother. The only thing they talk about is like, you better be a virgin. Exactly. <laughs> Do you think that he knew you were going through menopause? We never talked about it because you don't want your husband to think that you're getting old. How long does menopause last? Okay, so you get the idea. Um, In part authority you, with the podcast, love to see that. The podcast style is really clean. I bet that's why it worked really well. Um, they had a nice promo, 15% off your first order, so that's positive. Native text, white with their pink, bright pink outline. Yep. Also talking uh, very openly about things that are, have been pretty taboo for women, you know, generations before us, which is cool to say. Absolutely. So in a nutshell, you have access to all these different ads. Um, and the question is, then you go, okay, so I have all these ads. Um, how do I keep uh, finding ads? Or how do I how do I create my own collection? All right? So one thing about Magic Brief is they do have um, packs 
of uh, ads so you can go through and you can uh you know explore their packs like best of 2023 um and you can add these to a collection on your own um i didn't know about this pack i am gonna go through this yeah best of 2023 like here's one from high smile it looks like it's probably one of those ugly ads Ugh, not again someone returned a fake v34 they don't even work look Just what I thought. Don't waste your money. But the real V34 works a treat. Just watch. In a few seconds, the difference is insane. It's so But weird. I honestly think the best part is that you can get this and our new Wonka toothpaste for $1 more in this bundle. This new flavor has people shocked. No! Oh, I'm refreshed. This is like refreshing. And you already know what this one does. That's funny. That's um, sure. my my meta reps would call it uh, ECG, employee generated content. There you go. So you can go through and you can add these. Uh, all you do is you just press. I'm just going to add that to UGC videos. Boom, down below. Um, I can also explore by brand. Um, so I know everybody's been talking about how they're doing Magic Spoon UGC lately. Um, so you could go in and maybe you got. Uh, hit up by Magic Spoon, and you're like, okay, let me look at what some of their other creative is. Um, yep. Any brands that have been uploaded um, will be on here. Um, like, I could probably look for, um, we always use this example, Athletic Greens. Yeah, AG1. Yep. Perfect. Great. I can go I see what their, what their, yep. I can go see what their content is. Um, Perfect. I don't know. I've never used live feed. I'm assuming this is just like the latest stuff that's been uploaded by people. Um, can you sort by ad score? Oh, um, yes. I think in this, I don't know if you can do it in all a filter. It's just for discover. So when you go to discover, uh, this will be like, it's not live, but I think it's like a mixture of like popular ones plus like relevant, like newly uploaded. Because sometimes there'll be a big batch like this of sweet green videos or some random, like one was, there were like 30 different ads that had just been uploaded of like uh, AI girlfriend app uh, ads. <laughs> so there's all sorts of strange stuff that comes in here too. Um, uh, to answer your question, it, it, is a, it is a paid. They had a free one. I don't know what happened though. I think like you can use some of it um for free like certain parts of it but it is paid i think to use for um certain things i they just changed their 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 payment model so i'm actually i can't answer that and it's 100%. considered a business expense if you are paying for it so that is the upside obviously is that as a ugc creator creative strategist you are paying taxes on the money that you're making therefore you have business expenses so this for me and for shane is a business expense also they're really kind of kind enough to give us an affiliate code so if you do want this uh we'll get a commission so it helps support us if if you do use our code um but to be honest i i there there's another brand that does this that like a competitor and magic brief is so far above and beyond like their service when they work at our agency my agency uses them um they, they respond immediately if you have questions. Their founders are super nice, so intelligent. Um, like if you have like custom implementations, they'll like talk to you about trying to figure it out in their roadmap. So it's a really great service. They're a really awesome brand. Um, but to answer your really questions. Oh, oh sorry. God. I was gonna say, cause Sam had said this before, this sounds a thousand times better than just sending links to the meta ad library. The downfall of sending the, uh, the video that's live on Facebook is that when that ad stops running, it no longer works. Meaning that if you were to pull an ad from Facebook or Instagram and you send the link to your point of contact and they wait a week and a half to look at it, it's gonna say link expired because the ad was taken down. Shane, if you could show how you're able to, you've shown how you can save them Oh, like, yeah. No, I'll show the, the plugin. 
Yeah. The plugin yeah, yeah. and the download. Yep. Yep. I'll do that. Um, but just to answer the question about um, filters really quick, you can filter by certain things, but it doesn't look like you can filter by how long they've been run. Um, you can filter by ad score, um, which I think kind of helps, but it doesn't look like they've allowed you to be able to do that. So, uh, to Kelly's point, I'll show you, you know, we've, we've seen how we can like, um, work within their platform to find inspiration. Uh, how do I go and acquire, um, some content like in the wild myself? Um, first you're going to go, uh, I'm just going to show you how to get the Chrome plugin. You need to use Chrome to, uh, uh, use this. And I think, uh, I want to say you go to your, uh, you go to help maybe Chrome extension. Um, uh, magic brief Chrome extension. I'm just going to share this, uh, below in the comments. Um, so you're going to want to download this Chrome extension. Uh, oh, it, it's not showing, is it? There we go. Oh. This is the Chrome extension. Um, so you're going to click on that and uh, you're going to add it to Chrome. And it's really, really simple. Um, oh, sorry. I just saw a question from Marta. I'm just going to answer this really quick. Oh, sorry. Um, am I understanding this right? This library is a collective thing where all users add ads to it and then others have the visibility of it too and can save a certain creative to their swipe file correct so it's kind of it is a collaborative thing um but nobody has access to your collections um but everything you you download does help the greater community access those ads well and you can use it as collaboratively as you want it to be so like for me i have a few different swipe files where it's like dedicated to a client. So the person right. getting that folder is my client, or maybe it's collaborative in the sense that we're both adding to that swipe file. I think she just meant the platform in general, like the discover feed is, is like ads that you've saved too, or anybody saved on magic brief. I thought that was what she meant. But yeah. Will this be available to come back to you later? If it's referring to the live, it's archived on our channel. So you can actually yeah. gain access to every single former live that we've ever done by subscribing to our YouTube channel and going to our live playlist. Sweet. Um, so you're going to add that to Chrome. And then uh, I'm just going to go to the meta ad library. And go look for some ads. I'm going to go um, give me a client, Kelly. Um, or, or hair or eyewear. Category. Oh, category. Um, oh, you said what was? What did you give? What was hair eyewear? Pair, and that's uh, P A I R E. No E. And then space eyewear. I'd better know how to spell it. I just worked with them. Nice. Amazing. So I'm going to go, um, as you can see now in meta ad library, I have this magic link, uh, magic brief button, um, that you can use and it, it's available on any ad and you can also use it on the TikTok um, uh, creative center as well. Um, but if I like an ad, say I go and I find this one here, I just found the best pair of glasses. So you don't have to check out pair eyewear. You can turn one so this is a nice unboxing video. And if I want to save this, all I do is I click uh, the arrow and I can go down and I can add it to UGC videos. Boom. I could go and I'm maybe I'm just going to add all these. So Sam, I love that you suggested this because say, for example, you have a client who or a potential client who is like, we want to see the beauty brands you've worked with or beauty brand examples that you've created, you could technically create an up-to-date swipe file of everything you've ever created 
And then when the time comes and someone has a specific request for the creatives you've done, you could then make a secondary swipe file pulling the ones you want from that portfolio swipe file. That's a great idea. Um, cool. So, I mean, in a nutshell, that's it. Because then when I go back to my, um, my dashboard, I'm going to go back to UGC videos. Um, there we go. All the pair eyewear videos are there and they're saved. Um, the ad score is going to be assessed and then I'll get more information about it. And, um, that's it. Done. Boom. Um, now I'm adding to the swipe file. Um, any questions so far? Oh, Marta's funny. She said it's <laughs> it's funny to look at these ads and be like, I know this creator. This community is really small. Yeah, the one so the woman on the left looks familiar with the glasses on. Yeah, so this is honestly, I feel like there are so many different ways that you can utilize this tool. And it's one of those things that it's important to at the very le least become familiar that it exists in the first place because your clients likely already know about it. And if they don't yet already know about it, you have the opportunity as the expert in your field to tell them about it. Mm -hmm. And then- Oh, I thought it was her. Nice, thanks, Marta. Samantha. There's no storage limit. Love that. You can add as many videos as you want. So the next part I'm gonna show you is, this is just, you know, one part of this is really one third of the platform. So like at a surface level, this is already a great tool, um, saving all these and keeping track of them. Obviously, just before I forget, you can share the link to the collection. You can even just share the link to the ad if you wanted. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to now take uh, some of these and we're going to create a brief uh, for the client based on ads that we have. So I'm going to go create a brief. I'm going to go uh, pair eyewear. And then um, now I'm in like essentially a Word document um, and I can put together a brief that can be used to share ad examples with my client. Um, so I'm going to say uh, there's a due date. The client wants it by the end of the month. Um, this is a draft and, um, I, I can add my clients in here as well. I haven't done that. So I'm just not going to put that for now. Um, so I'm going to add my ad references to this brief and I'm going to go in and maybe, uh, for the case of this, we're just going to review some of their latest ads and Why? talk about, uh, you know, we want to do next uh, in terms of uh, these ads. So now I'm going to add this ad reference widget. And uh, boom, now they're all in this document. Um, and think for, you know, we'll say again. I said, think of reference as inspo. Right. It, actually, for this example, it'd be better if I just did. Um, so let's say my client is pair eyewear and I'm doing inspo for, I like that high smile one. How do we do that? Um, uh, we like the menopause one and maybe this uh, sock one. I don't know. The, the, we, we, we thought it through and it makes total sense uh, in a vacuum. Here's our inspo. We put it in. Um, and now I can add um, other information. So I can go, um, I can go through and add, uh, formats. So we know we're going to want a video. Um, I can add, uh, music from art list as examples. So I can add, um, like different tracks that they might like. Mm -hmm. Um, I can add output sizes. So nine by 16 and four by five feed and story in real. Um, I can talk about specific products. That are in here um that we want to that we want to use or or even uh 
you know use this as like what landing pages or do would we want to send to um you can talk about the target audience we can add uh different variants versions right and so all this is essentially helping you prepare a document to pitch a client um you can attach a scripts if you wanted to um you can add a content style okay it's ugc uh you know uh all these help you just make you help the the brief process go a lot faster so cool um, and obviously you could get really in the weeds create a format that really works for you uh and your client and and uh then just share it out and now your client is brought to like a really clean looking professional brief example of you know what what kind of creative concept you want to pitch to them um no they, they um sam asked if brands need to pay for it they don't need to pay for it to look at um the briefs so you can send those away and that's totally fine yeah, for example, like you can view the playlist that I shared before uh, of our UGC playlist, but they can also view it as non-members, but they just can't use anything else on the platform unless if they are members. Yep. Um, so now you can see I can look at all of my different briefs. Um, you know, for instance, uh, I can add uh, brands in here. So say maybe um, I'm gonna try and do an example while we have time, since we have we have time to kill. Um, let's say one of my clients is Warby Parker, and I want to use those UGC examples of pair eyewear to pitch Warby Parker. So uh, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna get a Warby Parker logo. Fancy. Fancy. Yeah, it's a nice client. How'd we land that one, Kelly? <laughs> Wasn't that our old agency client or no? They were. I thought you did motion stuff for them at Mute Sex. I might have. I don't really remember. I thought they were like a conglomerate. So they just kind of own a bunch of different um, like uh, eyewear brands. So cool. We have Warby Parker in here. Um, and now what we'll want to do is we'll want to create some concepts. So why don't we pitch them on some um, some uh, UGC ads similar to those pair eyewear ones that we found. So mm -hmm. um, we'll do uh, Warby Parker UGC. Amazing. So now we have a um, we have a script here um that we can utilize like an av script classic av script av um, is in audio visual audio visual um and so uh when writing a script you know i really want to make this pitch but damn i don't have time for it so what am i gonna do i'm gonna He's go gonna to our little friend named ugc buddy and I'm going to have them write a high converting script for UGC ad. What did you see when they came out with it? It's number one in the shop for our category. UGC Buddy is the number one UGC chat GBT ah. app. Oh, it should be um, so either use that or the um, use the other one. <laughs> shameless okay. plug um so let's say uh what is the brand or product it's warby parker um uh who's the target audience gen z are there any specific points ugc ad um no no Features of the product that should be highlighted. Oh, gotcha. Um, customizability. Yeah, they're, they're customizable. Yeah. Word? Customizability. That is a word. Do you have a preferred style or tone? UGC ad with um, 
uh, feature focused. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, tone and how long should the ad be? 30 seconds or less. Wait, before you, before you submit it, I just wanted to do a quick glance over their, over their page, just so we give it a little bit more information. Like on can the product. You, yeah. So like, can you include, I was going to try and copy and paste it, but it's not going to let me, can you do starting at $95? Yep. Um, starting at $95. And then try five at home for free. Try five at home for free. Oh, I guess those would be the call to action, huh? Um, sure, yeah. Uh, we could maybe use, uh, it looks like they say camera ready shapes for spring. Yeah. Instead of customizability. Yeah. Cause I just wanted it to be a little bit of like actual yeah. thought just so we don't get like a bland script, ba script back. All right, cool. So we'll do that. Um, so now UGC buddy's going to think on it. Oh, UGC buddy. The little buddy. <laughs> little buddy. Also, the more you use UGC Buddy, the higher we, we show up in the store uh, and the more likely that people can use it to start searching for creators. So um, Ooh, have we talked about that yet or no? Um, no, we haven't, but uh, it, it, it's kind of in beta right now. But um, just because you had kind of said something. So I'm like, did you are you going to tell them a little? You kind of like mentioned it, but oh, I don't think well, it's so you can see it saying. now. You can use it now. I've I've mentioned it, I think on another one, is you can search for creators with UGC Buddy based on that database. I don't know how many of you remember signing up for our um creator program. Like the there was there in our Discord, there's a form. Um, so all that information is searchable on UGC Buddy. Um, so somebody can go, I'm looking for a creator that is a uh, female in her thirties, um, you know, with X and X experience, like they, that will show up and it'll, it'll curate creators for them when they ask. So that's one of the features we're working on. It's definitely not, it's definitely a little rough right now. Cause we have to sw sw smooth out a, a few things, but ultimately that's the goal is to have this be such a full fledged, um, plug in that it helps you guys get work with agencies uh, who are yeah. you know, also writing scripts and, yep. and brands. Discoverability as a UGC creator, but also as that creative strategist that is sourcing creators is going to make your job a whole lot easier. So now it looks like we have our um, really sweet script. Let's just look through it real quick. Uh, how big is your database? How many creators? I think there's 200. Yeah, it was very small because it was when we thought we were going to be using, what was it like a website or something? And we basically we were going to have like a Notion database and it was mm -hmm. going to be really simple. But um, the problem was, is it was really hard to make it so people could edit their profiles. Yeah. Um, so we've been like batting it back and forth, trying to figure out what to do with it. Um, but ultimately, I think what we're working on now will be a nice solve for that. Uh, where you yeah, can, like, and once your we, profile. yeah, once we do finalize that, we'll promote the heck out of it and really want to make sure that the database is, I'd say, quality over quantity, but still having a variety of creators to choose from, regardless of like whatever that client is specifically looking for. Yep. Um, so let's look over the script, Kelly. Let me know what you think. Let's see. Here's a drafted concept for Warby Parker UGC. Scene one, young person wearing trendy Warby Parker glasses, browsing through a selection of frames online. Hey guys, I just found my new spring, my new spring look with Warby Parker's camera ready shapes. Totally in love. 
<laughs> so I feel like there's definitely a way to reword that where it's like, say you're like turning the camera and you're like, I just found my new spring look with Warby Parker's camera ready shapes. So it's like you turn to the camera and then it's like you have the lens and then it could even, since they don't have the magnetic lenses, like a, a pair I wear, it could just match cut and show like three different changes really quickly. So it captivates the viewer. And then it would cut to scene two, which is close up on the glasses, highlighting the unique design and colors. Perfect. I kind of just said that already. Check these out. Perfect for any style and super comfortable. And guess what? They just, they start at $95. That's pretty usable. Scene three, person trying on different pairs, each reflecting a vibrant spring vibe. And when we think vibrant spring vibe, I would think of changing my outfit based on the pair that I'm wearing. With so many fresh designs, it's hard to choose just one. But hey, why limit yourself, right? I feel like that's good. Scene four, and the best part, and I like how they do scenes because it's also offering the creator an opportunity to not just film maybe in one setting, which could also maybe help with viewer retention. Scene four, shows the home try on of, uh, oh, of the box arriving. Great, because you can try five pairs for free. So, and the best part, you can try five pairs at home for free. Yes, for free. Scene five, person happily wearing their chosen pair, smiling at the camera. Audio, find your spring style with Warby Parker. Swipe up to start, wow, this is great. It's funny, because when you said Gen Z, the only reason why I was la laughing in scene one is it's like, totally or you know something kind yeah, of silly. totally but, in love but it's so usable i mean it really is like there's like anything you use chat takes some for. massaging yeah you should always be massaging an answer from chat gpt let's be honest even with the pro version which this is but yeah like sam said it did a good job so i would say solid uh response we can use it and then obviously the creator is recommended to ad lib according to what feels more comfortable for them with, with whatever they're saying. Um, so now you can see um, that I've plugged in what uh, ChatGPT gave me. Um, so uh, now I can go in and I can start labeling stuff. Um, so like, let's see, like the hook, I guess, would be... Yep. And then uh, check out these perfect for any style, super comfortable. And guess what? They just start at $95. So I guess that would be uh, benefits features. Yeah. I guess that'd be like. Yeah. It's, it's, um, I mean. Maybe it, part it, of the hook. Well, so there's a few different things. You can always hook stack and you can always CTA stack, meaning that throughout the course, I'm saying meaning in, in the case that for anyone that's listening that doesn't understand what yep. it is, is you can, you always want to have a hook at the first scene of your video and you always want a CTA in the last scene of your video, but there's no rule that says you can't hook stack or CTA stack, which means you can put something that is re-hooking the audience at the 15 second marker to reassure that the viewership doesn't drop after the 15 second marker. Or you can sprinkle in a little teaser of the CTA, which is an offer halfway through the ad. So the viewer gets enticed to purchase the product even before we get to the last scene of the ad. So as you can see here, it's like hook, CTA, mm -hmm. uh, and then benefits, or it's really an offer, um, and then CTA again. Yep. Um, so now I have this, um, this, uh, ad and, um, looks good to me. So I'm going to go back and then, um, I think I, I forget if I have to. Cool. Public. Yeah. Public. I thought there was a way to, it says in progress, but I thought. You can even export. That's cool. Oh, yeah. I've actually never done that. Mm -hmm. Right. You can export as a document. That's great. Um, so I'm just confused why it says in progress. I thought you were able to change it, but that's okay. Um, so what I can go do is I can go back to uh, my brief. I'm going to delete the brief I made. I'm just going to create a new I see the status one. there. Yeah, I I will. I think it's it has to be added to the the brief. Mm. So I'm gonna do uh, Warby Parker UGC add create brief. They want it by the end of the month. 
Um, we'll say it's a draft for now. We haven't sent it out to them. Uh, Brand, Warby Parker. Great. And so let's start off with those um, uh, ad references for pair wow. eyewear. I just. Great. Um, so now we have our ad references. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to concepts. This is where you change it. That's right. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to add uh, Warby Parker UGC. Huh? Oh, that's right. It takes them to the script if they click. Okay, so I'm gonna add the um, the script we just made, um, and just to do a test, why don't we um, copy the link, and then I'm gonna just see. Oh, I have to do it in a, um, incognito mode. Make it public. Let's see. Make it public and send it to all of us. Everybody. Um, sorry, give me one second. No, he wants to do incognito mode. All your well, it's, it's because I that. have to log out. I'm just teasing. They don't have you. a preview. Oh. They should I have a preview though. Um, sorry, give me one second. It does look like the client does have to sign into Magic Brief, which is confusing. Sign into Magic Brief to view the brief. Unless, unless it's, oh, wait, sorry. Well, because you there did you private. Go. So private is users with access. That was, that was why. You're right. Yeah, so anyone now, can now, if I, now if I do incognito mode, I should just be able to look at it. Yeah. All right. Cool. So um, this is what they would see, right? Is they'll see the concepts. Ooh, so clean. Um, they'll see the the ad examples. They'll see the concepts, and they can go in and they can look at the script. Um, you can add images if you wanted. Um, Love that. So you kind of make it your own. I mean, the brief process is definitely like uh, can be kind of uh, stressful. So I think it's nice also, to be able to have a system that if it oh, works for oh. you. I thought you meant the. I thought you meant magic brief is stressful. It's like how so? No, no, no. Just the brief process is stressful, and you know, so people work better in a PowerPoint. Um, like that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Because um, the other example is if say like this whole concept um brief thing is just like too much you'd rather just be working in like a system you know or you have like a, a template or using one of our templates the other thing you could do is you go to this ad and you can literally just save the video so you can go through and you can start saving these videos um to whatever you want to present them in um so even just you're having the ad examples download. oh say again by save, you're referring to download. Download, right. Yeah, so you just can download save. these. Yeah, you can download photos, you can the statics, you can download the videos. So if say, for example, you're using one of our slide decks from the creative strategy course and you, you want it in deck format and not in magic brief, you can add those assets into that deck. Yep. Which is awesome. Um, the other thing is is when you do those uh scripts, I forgot. I've never used this because it's a little too much for me, but they have like an AI, um, like Ooh. they have an AI thing where you can like take an existing video. Like I've never really used it because I tried it once and it didn't really work well. So um, here, I'll just do this, this one. Hey, sweet green. This looks like it was a, um, a uh, spark ad. Um, mm -hmm. so 
uh, I can go in and it has like a, a script already done mm. uh, with the with the clips. So I can actually like um, take these. I can export script, uh, obviously to keep it, or I can. Um, is it copy script? They might have taken it away now. Oh, export to new board. That's right. So I can export it to a new board and then I can actually use these frames and scripts mm -hmm. as the example. So I could be like, oh, well, we'll want this shot, a uh, similar shot, right? Or this similar shot. Um, so I can actually use those clips to, um, you know, explain the ad better, right? That's if I don't awesome. have, like, where would I get Im example images? Like, this is essentially your example. So your storyboard. Uh, yeah, for storyboard. Makes storyboarding that much easier. Yep. And in a nutshell, that's that's basically it. I mean, um, at the very least, I think it's an absolute must to be using the uh, ad collection part. It's like a it's I I couldn't recommend it more. It's literally the only way to stay informed about what people are using and to also be able to use it to. Uh, have examples on hand in case a client's like, I need a concept or they're like, prove that people are doing this example that you think is going to work. Yep. Um, you can go out and source it. Also, Magic Brief is super helpful. If you ever find yourself in a situation like the one that I found myself in on Thursday, which was at 10 a.m., I had a creative strategy meeting with one of the co-founders of a company that I lead high level creative strategy for. He was bringing ideas to the table, but I realized mm, it'd be kind of lame if I showed up and I didn't have at least one idea. So what did I do? I went digging through my magic brief and was able to come forward with not just one, but like four different ad examples to also be able to share with him at that meeting. And I did that within 10 minutes and they were all solid examples. So it really is an incredible tool to use as that UGC creator and or creative strategist. Yep. And then outside of obviously, you know, us encouraging you guys to use Magic Brief just because it has been an incredible tool for the both of us, I shameless plug and also just like major, major props to Shane. If you guys haven't yet seen our new website, check it out. It's ugc.pro. That is the website handle and or URL. And it is Shane did the entire website and he did such an incredible job on it. I, it still just blows me away how talented he is. And of course, oh. for anyone that hasn't yet heard, we launched the creative strategy course, uh, I believe a week and a half ago, and we are currently running an offer where it's 20% off for the first month of launch, meaning that you should take advantage of the offer now when it's 20% off before the price goes back to 299. And outside of that, we are also um, encouraging anyone to become an affiliate of UGC Pro. And when you become an affiliate of UGC Pro, you get a commission for the course. 20% commission. That's like $60. That's more than yeah. most digital products out there. <laughs> yeah. And we've so, already gotten two affiliate sales. So people are already doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one was Tran, love Tran. She's taking the course and she's on chapter seven right now. And she cannot say, she she is saying the nicest things is what I was trying to say. She is just so sweet. Uh, but yeah, so one of the sales went through. Uh, I really want to be an affiliate, but I don't have, nor can I sign up. So stupid PayPal. Oh, interesting. What's yeah, the issue? I, we, we, can't, we can't do anything. Until, until Kajabi allows us to do something other than PayPal, that's all we can do for now. It sucks, but. Oh, Eileen, I was wondering uh, if you were on. I wish I had a Shane in my home. He's amazing. Thanks, Shane. Oh, you're too sweet. That's very nice. Ah, oh, well, on that I'm note. I'm a rare commodity. <laughs> on that note, thank you guys so much for spending your Saturday with us. We yep. are so excited to finally have the Creative Strategy course live and launched and available for you guys. I know that Marta is a part of the program. So is Eileen. There are tons of you guys. Sam, um, 
I know that you guys have all had positive feedback. Of course, if you ever have any recommendations for us, feel free to email me at kelly at ugc.pro for us to keep in mind when it comes to future digital resources, as well as also if you guys have any feedback for current digital resources. We are open to adjusting our resources to what works best for you guys. And speaking of which, <laughs> I'm going to say one last thing, which is Shane and I are revamping the UGC blueprint, formerly known as the UGC portfolio and pitching for success guide, formerly known as the 117 page UGC guide. This resource is going to be the middleman to the free UGC guide this updated resource and the creative strategy course. So anyone that has ever purchased this guide, this 117 page UGC blueprint, they will also get the revamped version once it launches this month. So my advice, right. since it is gonna be a video version, is to grab it now. That way then you get the revamped version for free because we are gonna be raising the price for this because of the extended quality that's going to be added to it also i thought you were going to mention something else that we've been working on what Which, do either of us sleep <laughs> uh, i mean barely actually last night i got 12 hours of sleep <laughs> she needed it yeah what were you well, gonna say, Jane? the one thing i was going to bring up which we talked about in the um in the uh discord was tiktok shop and you know we're trying to figure out a way to help because you know we don't have a ton of experience doing the tiktok shop uh part of it but what we do have is access to uh helping the community and so kelly and i are working on getting a product to launch of some kind i won't share any details kelly i, I trust me but we are working on a product that um we can hopefully bring to market and then be able to give you guys a really good commission and like be your access point to starting tiktok shop um on the right foot and being able to like have a connect and it being like a quality product with you know us as your um connection so you can kind of skip all the like you know um at least for one of your clients you know, you, you can have people who understand you and can work with you directly. Um, and obviously we're happy to help you. And if you're making content for the product, like we can help you with your content, whatever it is. So we just think it'd be a really fun way to connect with you all. And um, we're also really excited about the product that we're working on too. Um, I think like it's a physical it, it, product. We're not like talking digital product. products. We're talking a product sold in TikTok shop. We had a meeting this morning with someone who has a lot of experience when it comes to the manufacturing side. And let's just say we are very excited. Definitely. So stay tuned for that. Um, and uh, we just can't wait. So, um, so much stuff coming. Have a Yay. happy weekend and uh, enjoy the snow or sunshine, whichever part of the, the world you're in. <laughs> Huh. Amazing. Thank you guys so much for spending time with us. And thank you, Shane, for showing us Magic Brief. Yep. Bye.